Hi, everyone. Come on. We've got big news today. Emma lost a tooth. Let me see, Emma. It's so exciting. It's not exciting. It's terrible. What do you mean, Emma? I didn't want to lose my tooth. It's my tooth. How will I chew? How will I smile? I need my tooth. TK, help me put it back in. What? How? I don't know. I've never lost a tooth hmm. before. Ah! Uh -uh. Yeah! <laughs> mm -mm. Maybe the Tooth Fairy can help. Yeah! The Tooth Fairy! I've heard of her. And that sounds like we have a mission. Mm -hmm. You know what that means. <laughs> For us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find the Tooth Fairy. The Tooth Fairy? Sounds exciting. Let's see where you can go. Candy Planet? All that sugar isn't good for tea. Mm -mm. Huh? Oh, spare Part huh? Planet? Emma isn't a robot, so the Spare Part Planet won't be much help. Mm -mm. This looks like the right place. The fairy planet. Yay! <laughs> yes, the fairy planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. So you're the Tooth Fairy? Me? No, I'm the Pillow Fairy. A pillow? How is a pillow gonna help me put my tooth back in? Oh, oh, oh yeah. Nobody really needs a Pillow Fairy these days, I guess. Uh, we do. Really? Mm -hmm. Sure, I'll bet you can help us find the Tooth Fairy. I do know this planet like the inside of a pillowcase. Great. See, Emma, we'll find the Tooth Fairy and have your tooth back in your mouth before you can say toothless. <laughs> snow isn't cold. And why does it smell so... minty? 
Oh, this isn't snow. It's toothpaste. We're in toothpaste tundra. <gasps> the tooth fairy! Come back! That wasn't the tooth fairy. That was the toothpaste fairy. Uh, what does she do? Fills tubes with toothpaste. It's a sticky job, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> toothpaste fairy? Huh. Let's hope Orbit and TK are having better luck. Yoo-hoo! Tooth fairy, where are you? Hmm. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> oh! Hey! What's this string doing in the forest? It isn't string, Orbit. It's dental floss, mm -hmm. the stuff you floss your oh. teeth with. Do you know what that means? Hmm. Uh, the, the trees of teeth? <laughs> no. It means the tooth fairy must be nearby somewhere. Yeah! Hmm. 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 <gasps> oh! Excuse me. Uh, tooth fairy? Tooth fairy? Oh, no. I'm Fairy Floss, the Dental Floss Fairy, at your service. Oh, our friend Emma lost a tooth and she needs help. So, where can we, uh, find her? Oh, you can't find the Tooth Fairy. She'll find you. Huh? How? I'm not sure. Maybe try asking the Pillow Fairy. The Pillow Fairy? Okay, we're back in Pillow Place and still no Tooth Fairy. I don't think I'm ever going to find the Tooth Fairy. I know it'll cheer you up. A comfy pillow. Hugging one always makes me feel better. Huh? Hmm. Thanks, but it's no use. I'll never find a way to fix my tooth. I don't even want to look at it anymore. <sighs> Whoa, the tooth fairy? Wow. The tooth fairy! It's the tooth fairy! Banter! <laughs> Actually, I found you. That's how it works. You put your tooth under your pillow, and I, the Tooth Fairy, come to you to give you a surprise. Ooh, a sticker? Thanks. <gasps> but wait, where's my tooth? It fell out, and I don't know how to put it back in. Back in? Oh no, dear. There's nothing to fix. It's perfectly normal for young children and aliens to lose their baby teeth. Baby teeth? Yes, and soon you'll grow a new grown-up tooth in its place, one that won't ever fall out. So you'll need to take extra special care of your teeth from now on. Lots of toothbrushing and flossing. Wow, okay. Thanks, Tooth Fairy. My pleasure, dear. <sighs> I feel so much better. Baby teeth? Who knew? Well, we do now. Thanks to the Tooth Fairy. She's awesome. Yeah. Huh? Awesome. What's wrong, Pillow Fairy? Oh, nothing. It's just... It's always the other fairy saving the day. I wanted to be a helpful fairy for a change. But you were the most helpful fairy of all. We found the Tooth Fairy because of the pillow you gave me. You did save the day. Oh shucks. You're making me cry. Where's the tissue fairy when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'd say this is one big toothy mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> Emma was upset.
upset because her tooth fell out. So we went to the fairy planet to ask the tooth fairy for her help. We met lots of fairies. The pillow fairy and the toothpaste fairy. Don't forget fairy floss. And of course, the tooth fairy. She explained that Emma doesn't need her tooth. Another bigger tooth will grow in its place. So I'm going to brush and floss my teeth and take care of them. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go out. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Fairy Planet. Galactic Space Race. Race? What race? It says there's one spot left in the race. What's going on? TK, it's fantastic. There's going to be a race, and we have to prepare. But I'm the best pilot. You can't race against me. It says here, anyone can compete by yourself or on a team. You are a great pilot, but TK and I make a great team. I think we could win a race. Well, Orbit and I make a great team, too. Why don't we have a race and see who should compete? It's the only way to be fair. Where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. <laughs> Clean up planet? I don't think that's a very good place to race. Maybe we'll need to go there and wash up afterwards. <laughs> Paint planet would be great. It sure would. But it's not really a place to have a race. Hmm. Race flags and a race track. That's exactly what we need. Yes, the race planet. Perfect choice. But remember, racing isn't all about winning. You have to have fun and play fair. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Rocket Riders, choose your racer. There are so many to choose from. TK, which one should we choose? Wow, look at that one. Ready? Buckle your seatbelts. Okay, 
Emma. We'll catch them in this. I checked them all, and I'm sure this is the fastest. what we need. A coin! This might work. Awesome! Uh, Rob, I think we need a recharge. Don't worry, Orbit. We have tons of power to finish the race. Besides, can't stop now. We're winning! Straight. Which way do we go? Buckle up again. We've got to make up for lost time. Emma, you can't go off the track. That's cheating. No, it isn't. Besides, Rob's not playing fair either. Just because he's not playing fair doesn't mean we have to cheat too. We have a better racer. We can win. But this is faster. The arrow pointing left looks like it goes to the mountains. The arrow pointing straight looks like it's going towards the water. Is that where we need to go? Checkered flags are used at the end of a race. That's it, the end of the race. We follow the sign that points to the right. Seatbelts on.
really sorry. No, I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. Hey, we're really sorry, guys. We forgot what the real spirit of racing is about. It's about doing your best. And supporting your friends. Not leaving them behind. Way to go, Squeak. You're a great racer. You played by the rules. And you know what happened? You won. We gotta bring our pods back to the starting line. It's a long way back to the rocket. I'll race you. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we wanted to have a practice race to see who was the best racer. We decided Race Planet would be the perfect place. We also learned that if you break the rules, it can be dangerous. But the most Thing was that you shouldn't forget about your friends. And losing to your friend is still a bit like winning, because you can be happy they did well too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. Build 
great, Emma. This isn't anything like a tasty dessert. It might not be rainy, <laughs> but the desert is way too hot. something that can help. Hmm. <gasps> it's too warm to dance. The xylophone won't help. A hammer's a great tool, but not the right one for this job. A fan! looks too warm. There are other parts of the weather planet we could visit. We could fly the rocket somewhere the weather is cooler. Cooler. Good. better. Not hot at all. to walk on. are also a kind of frozen water, and every one of them is slightly different. Cool. No, cold. <laughs> it is cold. <laughs> Too cold. Don't you think? Rob! Rob, it's too cold. The rocket can't even move. Oh, no! How can we warm him up? Well, I wasn't cold when I was skating. And we weren't cold when we were playing. We need to move to get warm. And I know just what to do. Great idea, Rob. Moving around will definitely warm us up, but we've got to get the rocket moving as well. Just keep dancing. Come on, Rocket. You can do it too. place to play. Not too hot and not too cold. I know. Follow me. This is great. The perfect place to play. And build. And it's not 
raining here either. We had the perfect place to play all along. <laughs> not too warm and not too cool. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> it was raining, and we wanted to find a place to go that would cheer us up. Somewhere it wasn't raining where we could play. We learned that a desert isn't something sweet to eat. That's a dessert. A desert is a place that almost never rains. But the one we found was way too hot to play in. So we went to another part of the weather planet where it was snowing. There we learned that when it's really cold, water freezes. It turns into ice and even snowflakes. But there, it was so cold that the rocket couldn't move. We decided to dance and move around in order to get warm again. We finally picked a place that was just right. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Weather Planet! all kinds of magic. Wow, really? Let me show you. Rob, you forgot the book. Oh, don't worry, it's the hat that we need. <laughs> For my first performance, I'll make something disappear. Uh, who wants to disappear? Orbit, how about your camera? Er, uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. Uh, Squeak? Squeak? Uh, Squeak? Squeak! What happened, Rob? I don't know. I don't know. I haven't learned the trick yet. I don't know how to find Squeak. What can we do? Maybe we just need a different kind of magic to get Squeak back. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Sounds like an important mission. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, theater planet. <laughs> Sounds like a fun place to dress up, but I don't think that will help us. The Halloween planet might have magic. <laughs> Squeak won't be on Halloween planet. We'll go there later. Magic planet, perfect. Yes, the magic planet. Excellent choice. <laughs> Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
magic planet. It didn't come with any wands. Don't worry. I think I can help with that. Hmm. Huh? No. A feather duster? <laughs> That's not right. Hmm. Aha! Spoon! Hmm. That's not a wand. Let's see if it works. not squeak. Rob, you turned squeak into a rabbit. At least he reappeared. How do we fix him? Oh, I don't know. You mean squeak is gonna be a bunny forever? Maybe the book. Wait, squeak. He was just here. We lost him again? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Emma, wait! Ah! Emma! <gasps> huh? Huh? Here I am. <laughs> How did you... But, but you were... It's a trap door. Why? Ah! <laughs> cool. But where Squeak? It's all in the book, Rob. You can learn how to do these tricks if you... But tricks won't fix Squeak. We need to learn real magic. Oh, hey, huh? look at this. What's this? It's magic cards. Here, look. Whoa. I love cards. They have pictures and numbers on them. Pick a card, any card. Now, I will guess what card you have. <laughs> really? Ooh. You can do that? You have a five of hearts. <gasps> oh, that was amazing, Orbit. Here, let me try. Pick a card, any card. Ooh, a seven of diamonds. Uh-uh. Uh, a ten of spades. No, sir. Hmm, a two of clubs. Uh, wrong. Huh? I don't get it. How did you do it, Orbit? <laughs> it doesn't take magical powers. I just looked in the mirror behind you. <laughs> it's another trick. Oh, we don't need tricks to fix Squeak, Orbit. We need magic. Hey, Rob, look! all about making things disappear. Uh -huh. Keep your eye on the ball. Which shell is the ball under? Hmm. Oh, I know. This one. Let me try. How about this one? Then it's this one. Whoa! <gasps> Made it disappear. <laughs> it's not that hard, Rob. The book explains how to do all these things. Oh, another trick. It's not real magic. <sighs> Just because a trick can be learned, it doesn't mean it's not magic. Yeah. Try reading the book, Rob. Here's the magic hat trick. See? It doesn't say how to fix things again. The last thing it shows is... Hold on. That's it. <gasps> hey, come back. I need that.
just had to know the magic words. Magic is really just knowing how. That's the trick. Yay! Yay! I think this is a big mission accomplished. Mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Reappear, but instead he got turned into a bunny. There was a special closet, but it turned out that there was a secret door in the bottom. It was just a simple trick. Anyone can learn a simple trick, but real magic? That's very complicated. Then Orbit showed us a card trick. He could guess what card I picked. He did it by checking in the mirror behind me. I found out how to get Sweet back to normal. Just needed to be a little more patient and read the instructions in the magic book. I learned the trick. Nobody else knows how he did it. And that's what makes it magic. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, Art of paper folding. You can make all kinds of wonderful things out of paper. Like a paper airplane. Let's go to the origami planet. <laughs> origami planet. The perfect place. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
everything is origami here. So, where can we start origamiing? Right here. <gasps> Make a paper airplane. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. A rectangle has two sides longer than the other sides. Hmm, mine is square. All the sides are the same length. Uh, I'm sure it'll still work. Wait, Emma, I think we have to follow the steps. Orbit, what do we do first? Fold it in half like this. Then you done. <gasps> Emma, Orbit didn't finish telling us what to do. Oh, he was going too slowly, so I decided to wing it. Get it? Wing it? <laughs> oh. This origami stuff doesn't work at all. Ta-da! Look like that. Just give it another try. Orbit, can you show us again, please? Okay. First, fold your paper in half. Hmm. Make sure you line up the edges perfectly. Emma, you need to follow the steps and take your time. That takes too long. All done. Your plane looks different. What did you do? I just followed Orbit's instructions. Slow and steady. And added a couple of extra folds on the wings. Hmm. Slow and steady. I can do that. I think. Okay, Orbit. One more time, please. I promise I'll listen this time. First, you need a rectangular piece of paper. Rectangle, please. Thank you. Mayo, fold it in half from left to right. Hmm. Left hand is here. Right is here. So left to right. Neo, fold one corner back like this. Like this? Yeah, and do the same on the other side. This isn't so hard. Oh, I want to decorate my plane. Oh, I can help you. Mm. It doesn't have teeth, does it? Spatula? No, we're not cooking it. Markers? Perfect! Thanks, TK. I'm done! I did everything exactly like Orbit said. Looks good, Emma. Does it fly? I don't know yet. Here it goes. <laughs> This is a mission. Hold on, Rob. The mission isn't accomplished yet. I've got an idea. Ready for takeoff. Three, two, one, let go.
Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma wanted to learn how to make a paper airplane, so we went to the origami planet. We learned all about origami, or Japanese paper folding. There are lots and lots of fun things you can make with just a sheet of paper. When Emma tried to make her paper plane too quickly, it didn't turn out very well. But when she slowed down and listened carefully to the instructions, she had no trouble at all. Doing things quickly is fun, but sometimes it really pays off to slow down, listen, and do it right. <laughs> Done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Oregon Planet. Did you hear that? It sounds like someone is leaving us a space mail message. Hi, everyone. You have a space mail message from another galaxy. Hmm, who's it from? It's from TK's cousin, Rika. Rika? Really? Can we hear it? Of course. <laughs> Hello, Rika, TK. Huh? Hello, Binky, Binky. Hmm, that's your cousin? What did she say? <sighs> I don't know. Rika speaks Robozanian, a robot language. It's only spoken on her planet. I don't know how to speak it. Mission Control, you know lots of languages. Can you tell us what Rika is saying? Rika says, hello, TK. Oh. <laughs> but unfortunately, hello is the only word I know in Robozanian. Oh, that's nice of her to write. I just wish I could speak Robozanian. Then we could talk to each other. Oh, why don't you learn how to speak her language, TK? Oh, Orbit, that's a great idea. <laughs> hey, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah! <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Again, how can I help you? We need to help TK learn another language. Yeah, the Robozinian language. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, circus planet. That looks like fun. Hmm, it does, but I don't think it will help TK learn another language. Time planet, me! <laughs> Do we have time for another planet? I don't think this one will help TK either. Language planet. That's perfect. Yeah, yeah. Yes, the language planet. Wonderful choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Language planet. <laughs> wow! It's a lion! 
library of intergalactic languages. Ooh, cool. Languages from all over the universe. Hmm. Uh, how will we find the one we need? I am the language librarian. How may I help you? Uh, hi. Um, my friend TK wants to learn another language, so she can speak to her cousin from another galaxy. Wonderful. What language do you wish to learn? Uh, my cousin speaks Robozanian. Robozanian? Yes. We have just the language book to help you. It's sitting on the cart, waiting to be uh -huh. shelved. Oh, dear. It seems Jonah has taken it away. Who's Jonah? He's my brother. He's also our clerk. It's his job to keep everything organized. Hmm. Come on. Maybe we can catch up to him. Wait! There's something you need to know about Jonah. Oh, oh, oh. Is over there. Yoo-hoo! Over here! Jonah! Hmm. Oh no! Hmm. He's a speedy little guy, isn't he? Don't worry. We'll catch him. Right, Emma? <laughs> Clean up here. Okay. Come on, TK. Hello? Jonah? We need to ask you something. Uh, maybe he didn't hear me. Jonah! I bet he heard me that time. Hmm. I think he's ignoring us. We'll see about that. Talking book. A Spanish talking book. Neat. What a great way to learn a language. Konnichiwa. Hello. Wow. This one is Japanese. Hmm. I think this one is Alien 101. Zing, zang, zunga. Greetings. There sure are a lot of languages. You can say that again. There sure are a lot of languages. <laughs> he sure is a speedy little guy. We need to get his attention somehow. Wait, that's it. Do you have anything that makes a lot of noise? Um, maybe. Let's see. A cowbell. Loud enough. Symbols. This should work. Mm. Mm. Still not loud enough. Aha! Mm. Mm. That's pretty loud. I'll uh -huh. say. Please, you must be quiet in the language library. Oh, we're sorry. We were just having trouble getting Jonah's attention. I had tried to tell you earlier. Jonah can't hear you. And he only knows sign language. Sign language? What galaxy is that from? Sign language is used in many galaxies. Usually by those who are deaf or hearing impaired. Oh, Jonah is deaf. And that's why he didn't answer us when we called out his name. He couldn't hear us. Oh. Jonah says, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, too. Oh, but if Jonah can't hear, then we need to sign with our hands if we want to speak to him. Right? That's right. But we don't know sign language. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I see how he does it. Good afternoon, Jonah. Oh. Very good. 
It just takes some practice. Can we ask Jonah where to find books on how to speak Robozanian? Yes, this is the sign for Robozanian. Hey, this is fun! And this is the sign for book. If you put them together, you have... Robozanian book. Jonah, do you have the Robozanian book? Zula Wingding, hello. Zula Wingding, hello. Yeah, you did it, TK. You're speaking Robozanian. Can I borrow the book so I can learn more words and practice? I'd say this is a big mission accomplished. Thanks to Jonah and the language librarian. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Quiet in the language library. <laughs> Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the language planet to help TK learn a new language so she could speak to her cousin Rika. We learned there are lots of different languages out there. Konnichiwa, that's the Japanese word for hello. We discovered that not everyone can hear, like our new friend Jonah. Jonah helped to teach us about a very special language where you only use your hands, sign language. Like every language, it just takes practice to learn. Wonderful. It sounds like you learned a lot. Mission accomplished. Now, I think it's time to go home, don't you? Five, four, three, two, one! Yeah! Goodbye, Language Planet. Did I fool you? Come on in, you're just in time. Long before there were people on Earth, there lived giant reptiles called dinosaurs. Ooh. And the most terrible tempered dinosaur of all was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. He was one of the largest meat-eating dinosaurs that ever lived. <laughs> Tyrannosaurus Rex stood about 20 feet tall. That's almost as tall as the rocket. And he could eat up to 500 pounds of meat in one bite. Oh, sorry, Squeak. Wow, dinosaurs sound scary. I think they sound cool. Where do they live? Dinosaurs no longer exist. They've been extinct for 65 million years. Extinct? <laughs> extinct, Orbit. Extinct means they're no longer alive. Mm. The only thing left of the dinosaurs are old fossils and bones. Ah. Mm. Hey, maybe we could find a place that collects fossils and dinosaur bones. How cool would that be? <gasps> yes, a dinosaur exhibit. And that sounds like we have ourselves a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. help you today. We want to find a dinosaur exhibit, but we're not certain where to look. Oh, that's a tricky one. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, race planet. <laughs> I love racing. Racing is a lot of fun, TK, but I don't think we'd find dinosaurs on that planet. Oh, I love the theater. We could put on a play. 
That would be a great place if we wanted to dress up like a dinosaur, but I don't think we'll find any bones there, Emma. Oh, what about this planet? It looks like it might be a good place. You chose the museum planet. Museums carry all sorts of ancient bones and marvelous wonders. Excellent choice. Okay then, get ready for countdown. Hurry everyone, get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. fun putting it back together. Just think, a life-size dinosaur puzzle. to write with before pens were invented. They dip the quill in that bottle of ink and write on the parchment. Parchment is like paper we use today, but really, really rough. Cool! There's more drooly slime over here. Hmm. And a helmet is missing. Huh? What could make such a mess? We're the only ones here. <laughs> hey, where'd my toy go? <laughs> oh, catapult! Knights used them in ancient times to throw things at castles, like spears and rock. I like to rock. Trail leads 
in there. <laughs> Did you guys hear that? It's coming from inside. <laughs> oh no, it's Orbit. Quick, everyone, this way. accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, doggy. Goodbye, Museum Planet. looking after her cousin Mia's space cat, Violet. Violet needs something, but we don't know what it is. Hmm. Check the list Mia gave you, Emma. Everything a pet needs. Number one, a pet needs food. Food, check. Number two, a pet needs water. Water, check again. Three. A pet needs a place to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Litter box, check. That's everything on the list. Violet obviously needs something. Oh, I'm a terrible pet sitter. <sighs> hmm, maybe Mia forgot to put something on the list. But what? What does Violet need? Sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? 
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We're taking care of Emma's cousin, Space Cat Violet. She needs something, but we don't know what it is. Oh, I love pets. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, the water planet. But I don't think Violet wants to go swimming. Oh, what about the stinky foot planet? Ew. No, I don't think anyone wants to go there. Now that looks like a place that we might find what Violet needs. Yay! The pet shop planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. made of rubber. These must be toys. Uh, wait! Ooh. Ooh, oops! <laughs> oh, hey! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Guys, toy bones are for dogs, not space cats or robots. <laughs> Don't worry, Violet. We'll find whatever it is you need. Right, Rob? Right, Emma. This place is huge. So we can split up and search for the space cat department. Violet, you be a good cat and stay here. Look like the space cat department. This must be for the P O U S S. Huh? The pets of unusual size. Yes, Orbit. It must be for some really huge alien hamster. But that still doesn't help Violet. I don't know, Emma. This is pretty fun. Maybe Violet would like it. Woohoo! a fishbowl or fish food. Awesome. 
weird. We've got to help Robin orbit, but we're still no closer to finding out what Violet wants. Look out! Whoa! that hamster wheel. A little higher. And there! TK, find something to get the wheel fastened in place. Tape can fix a lot of things, but it's not going to work for this. TK, hurry! Uh, Ooh, my favorite wrench! I'm getting closer. TK, hurry! Aha! This bolt is perfect! <laughs> I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Mia's pet space cat needed. So we traveled to the pet shop planet. There was everything for every kind of space pet there. We learned that there are things every pet needs. Food and water and a place to go to the bathroom. Ew! <laughs> <laughs> we also learned that a pet needs a toy to play with to give it exercise. It was also a good way for us to play with her. All pets need lots of love, too. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. Goodbye, Pet Shop Planet. Olympics are coming up, and we're all getting ready. I'm getting ready for the 100-meter sprint. <laughs> the Space Olympics are going to be great, aren't they, Orbit? Um, yeah, I, uh, I can't wait. Gee, Orbit, you don't sound very excited. What is there to be excited about? I'm not going to the Space Olympics. Huh? You're not going? Why not? It's so much fun. Maybe if you're fast like TK, or can do the long jump like Emma, or can do the high jump like you, but I can't do any of those things. I'm just going to stay in the rocket and play with my new toy. Ooh, a toy. What is it? A camera. Orbit, you can't give up on the Space Olympics so easily. You need to try new things and see what you're good at. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? 
Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find something for Orbit to do at the Space Olympics. That's a great idea. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. A spring planet! That looks like fun! It does, but I don't think they use springs in the Space Olympics. Pillow planet. It's so soft and bouncy. Perfect for falling down. Sports planet! That's perfect! Yes, the sports planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. about sports. It's not about winning. It's about doing your best. And having fun. It's hard to have fun when you know you're gonna lose. <laughs> you just need to find out what you're good at, Orbit. Come on, let's go. It's the long jump. Orbit, you'll love this. Let's give it a try. You go first. Um, how about if Rob goes first? <laughs> left to try. Hurt? <laughs> 
fine. I'm just no good at sports. I should give up. Don't be silly. It just takes practice. Practicing hurts. Everyone's good at something. How about racing? a finish line. What can we do? I must have something we can use. Let's see. String? Mm, that won't work. It's too hard to see. Mm. Wood? No, that's too hard. Hold on. How about this? That's perfect, TK. <laughs> <laughs> We're all set. Ready, Orbit? I think I hurt myself on the high jump. I can't move in a straight line anymore. Oh no, your treads are bent. I could fix them, but only back at the rocket. But you should be racing too. It's okay, I'll try racing some other day. You guys have fun. Harder than I thought it would be. It was fun. Who won? I couldn't tell. I know who won. I do. I took a picture of the finish line. Look. It was TK. Yay for TK. And yay for Orbit. What a great picture. Great job, Orbit. Now we know what you can do. You can be the Space Olympics photographer. That's just as important as being an athlete. You can do your best at what you like to do and have fun, too. You're right. I can. I can't wait for the Space Olympics. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... Planet to help Orbit find something he could do at the Space Olympics. First, we tried the long jump. It was fun, but not right for Orbit. Then we tried the high jump. It still wasn't quite right for Orbit. Then we had a race. Wow, you even look fast, TK. Orbit didn't run the race, but he found out what he's really good at, taking pictures. Those are amazing pictures, Orbit. Great job. What a great day. Lots of fun. And even better, each of you found out that you're good at something. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Just in time. Emma's going to read us a story from her favorite storybook. Ah! Someone's been nibbling on my favorite storybook. <laughs> I think I know who did it. He's blue and has a wind-up key in his back. Squeak! Oops, he must be hungry. I forgot to feed him. Squeak, the box 
is almost empty. There's not enough mouse food in here, even for you. That's why Squeak nibbled on your book, Emma. He was hungry. Well, he can't keep eating my book. Certainly not. Books aren't very good for him to eat anyway. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. How can I help you today? Squeak is out of food, and he started eating Emma's books. We need to find something for him to eat. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, the bowling ball planet. Bowling is fun, but maybe later. No, we won't find anything to eat on the playground planet. Now that looks like a place where we can find something for Squeak to eat. Even robot mice love cheese. Yes, the cheese planet. Good choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelt. Chill. 
Chasing. It was other mice, too. But which one is our Squeak? TK, did you bring Squeak's food box? I did, but it's almost empty. Because I think I know how we can tell which one is Squeak. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the cheese planet to find food for Squeak. But when we got there, he was so excited, he ran away. We had to search through a lot of cheese and a lot of Squeaks in order to find him. When we did, he was with a whole lot of other mice who looked exactly like him. I knew there was really only one Squeak, so I decided to shake his box of food, and Squeak was the only one who came to us. Even though the mice all looked the same, we learned that they were each different in their own way. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five.
painting a picture for us, and he's almost finished. <gasps> What's wrong, Orbit? The flower. Oh, dear. Your flower looks sick. There must be a way I can make it better. I'm sure there is, but how? Oh, we need to go somewhere to make Orbit's flower better so he can finish his painting. That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> Pick a planet. make it better. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Ooh, poor Bobby Planet. Yum, buttery. Smells nice, but I don't think we'll find any flowers there. Mmm, we'll go to Toolbox Planet some other time, TK. Right now, we need flowers, and I don't think we'll get them there. Mm. Now that looks like somewhere we can get help for Orbit Sick Flower. Yes, the flower bed planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. of a flower bed planet. I can't see any flowers anywhere. There must be some around somewhere. to meet you. Why did those bees attack us? I'm afraid that's my fault. You see, those are honeybees, and they need flowers. There used to be flowers here. Flowers make nectar. Nectar is a kind of sweet liquid flowers make for bees. They collect it and use it to make honey. So the bees need every flower they can find. Like my flower. They weren't chasing us. They wanted your flower. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, wow. That's a lot of bees. Oh, the poor things. What happened to all the flowers? 
A while ago, my water sprinkler broke. Without water, the flowers wouldn't grow. So they all vanished. Oh, oh, I can help you fix it. I'm sure I've got just the thing to fix it. Hairbrush? Nope. Ooh, I love keys, but that's not going to help. Aha! Uh -huh. That's what I was looking for. Some oil from this oil can will get that device moving. Oh, that feels great. That's been stuck for so long. Watering the plants. Once these are watered, and I make sure they get plenty of sunlight, they'll grow into a field of healthy, bright, beautiful flowers. Yay! And then the bees will have nectar to make their honey. <laughs> now, now, there's no need to go frightening everyone like that. will be a garden full of flowers just for you. These will become flowers? What do they need? Good ground, sunlight, and plenty of fresh water. And now we wait for the flowers to grow. Great. Um, isn't it taking a long time? Yeah. I mean, I don't see anything happening. Oh, no. We won't see anything happen for days, maybe even weeks. Huh? Uh. Well, as the keeper of Flower Bed Planet, I can help that along, but I normally like to wait for it to happen naturally. Hmm. If there's a way you can make the flowers grow faster, I think it would be great. And the bees do look hungry. I wish I had my flower back. If I just watered it and gave it lots of sunlight, maybe it would get better. Where are they off to so quickly? I think I know. My flower! in that help flowers grow. The gardener who plants the seeds, water, sunshine, and the bees. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> Wait, don't go yet. We wanted to give you this. Mission Control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Orbit wanted to paint a picture of a flower, but the one he had was droopy and losing its color. So we went to Flower Bed Planet. But when we landed, we couldn't find any flowers just some angry bees who chased us away. We soon met the gardener, who was broken and couldn't water his plants, so TK helped fix them. 
he showed us plants and flowers need water and sunlight to grow big, bright, and strong. We also learned that bees do something really special. They take nectar from the flowers and make honey. And Orbit finally finished his painting and even got a pot of honey from the bees. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Bye. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've been working hard all day, and we want to have some fun. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Should we go to the bedtime planet to have fun? <sighs> no, that's a better place for a nap, not to have fun. Is the vacuum planet a good place to have fun? I think we've had enough vacuum cleaners for today. Do you think we can have fun on the playground planet? You've got it. The playground planet is the perfect place to have fun. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
Maybe someone else should have a turn being the leader. Okay, I was thinking we could try... A merry-go-round! Hop on, everyone! Quick, follow me! I'm the leader! Uh, guys, I thought... Hurry up, Orbit. You don't want to miss the fun. Just don't go too fast, because I get sick when I get too dizzy, and... Oh! <laughs> Orbit, you don't have fingers, remember? Oh, right. Okay, so Rob, I was thinking that. Great idea, Orbit! It's Rob's turn! Rob's the leader! Let's go! Follow me! to me, I might as well be floating alone in outer space. Uh-oh, I didn't mean it. One, two, one, one, two. Uh, guys. Wait your turn, Orbit. Okay, then. Huh? down? Um... My trampoline! That should do it! Yeah! Uh... Uh... Okay! Jump, Orbit! But what if I miss? I've already hurt my head, my bum, and my tummy today! It's easy! Just land on the trampoline! Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, our mission was to have fun. So we went to the playground planet. We slid down the big slide, and then we played follow the leader. But we were having so much fun, we got carried away and stopped listening to our friends. We forgot to give Orbit his turn. That wasn't nice of us. And because we weren't paying attention to Orbit, he almost floated off into outer space. Until TK found a trampoline. And then everyone bounced with me on the trampoline. It was the best. Well, that sounds like it ended on a high note. You should always be considerate of your friends. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Playground Planet! Hi, everyone. We're putting a band together to play in 
the Galaxy Pop Concert. <laughs> Where's your instrument? I don't have an instrument. Not even cymbals? <laughs> you can have mine! <sighs> no, not even cymbals. There must be something you can play. Nothing at all. There's got to be some instrument you can play. You just have to find it. Hey, that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find an instrument Emma can use in the Galaxy Pop concert. Oh, I love music. Do you play an instrument? Didgeridoo, I. I play the didgeridoo. Here, listen. Everyone plays an instrument except me. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find something perfect for you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Monkey planet, yes! I don't think monkeys spend too much time playing music, Orbit. We'll visit there another time. Look, Emma, book planets. That looks like fun. That's a good place to read about instruments, but not so good for playing them, TK. Band planet, that could work. Yes, the band planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. something else.
Would anyone mind if I switched my kazoo for a saxophone in our band? Uh-uh. No! <laughs> Let's keep looking. <laughs> What's this thing? It's an amplifier. An amplifier changes the sound and makes the guitar louder. Like this. Okay, that was awesome. Do you think I can play that? Give it a try and see. band? Absolutely! Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Don't be sad, Emma. We'll find your instrument. What if I can't play anything? <sighs> Everyone can play something. We just have to keep looking. Hey! This looks cool! Drumsticks. We can't play without drumsticks. I can help with that. Aha! Oh, wrong drumsticks. Drumsticks! I think these are too big for these drums. Hmm. Here we go. Will these work? They're perfect! <laughs> Do it. I can't play the song at all. It's not hard, Emma. See? Wow, Orbit! Yeah. That was great! Oh! Drums are awesome! I'm never gonna find an instrument I can play. Rob has a saxophone, TK has the guitar, and Orbit has drums. Yes, Emma's! <laughs> And I can't even play the song I want to play. All I want to do is play... La 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 That's it! That's what? Your instrument. It's you! I'm not an instrument. No, Emma's instrument is her voice. And every band needs a singer. Oh, right! Great idea! Do you think it will work? Of course! Your singing is great! Oh! I know something that can help. Mm -hmm. How do I look? Like a pop star. Is everyone ready? Yeah! Then one, two, ready, go! Sorry, Rob. Just practicing my solo. So, what did you learn on your mission? Well... <laughs> we went to Band Planet to help Emma find an instrument she could play in the Galaxy Pop Contest. Playing 
notes in the right order is harder than it seems, but TK was really good at it. Then Emma tried the drums, but Orbit was really good at those. Emma sang us a few notes of the song she wanted to play, and that's when we realized Emma's perfect instrument is her voice. The perfect thing for your band. I guess that's mission accomplished. Let's go home. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah! Goodbye, Bad Planet! Just in time. Today is Imagination Day, the day everyone gets to pretend to be anything they want. I'm going to be Jungle Explorer Emma Jones. All right. And I'm going to be Interplanetary Rockstar Orbit. Yo! Oh, avast me, hearties. Pirate TK is setting sail to find the biggest treasure ever. And Space Sheriff Rob is just the cowboy to protect it. Ooh, my computer chip just had a brainstorm. Why don't we put our characters together in a play for Imagination Day? I've always wanted to be in a play. Me too. Me three. One, two, three. Now we need to find a place to put on our play. And that sounds like a mission. You know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. to put on a play for Imagination Day. A play? What fun! I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Bedtime planet? Oh no, that would be the place to go for a nap. Not to put on a play, guys. The veggie planet. It's the perfect place for an afternoon snack, but not for putting on a play either. No way. Now that looks like the place to go to put on a play. Yes, the theater planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for a countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Me. The dress-up trunk is empty. <sighs> we 
can do the play without you, TK. We have to find you a costume. Don't worry, Orbit. I'm sure TK can find the perfect costume somewhere what? else. Aha! My tummy trunk. Of course. I'm sure there's something in here. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, shiver me timbers in a great big arm. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most excellent eye pack you have there, Pirate TK. <laughs> That's Pirate Princess TK to you, Rockstar Orbit. Awesome! Okay, so let the play begin! <laughs> Avast me, hearties! Arr, it be treasure! Dawdlin' dawdlies, there's at least a hundred space trolls out there. But never fear, Space Sheriff Rob will never let them capture you, Rockstar Orbit. Quick, saddle up your horse. My horse? Huh? Wait a minute, no one's capturing me. I'm going to have a concert. Those troll dudes are here for my show. Just ask Emma, she's my biggest fan. She comes to all my concerts and follows me around the universe. Go! No way, Orbit. I'm jungle explorer Emma. I discover things and rescue poor helpless jungle creatures. I don't follow rock stars around the universe. <sighs> Poor rock star Orbit is lost in the jungle. The only way he can get to his concert is if Jungle Explorer Emma rescues him. Da -da 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 -da. I'm coming, Orbit. I won't let those rock star eating trolls get you. Rock star eating trolls? Sorry, Miss Emma, but I'm a space share. I do the rescuing around these parts. I'm not getting eaten. My fans love me. I want to put on a concert. What do you mean these parts? We're in the jungle. No, we're not. We're on a space ranch. No way. We're at my concert. You're supposed to ask for my autograph. Why would a jungle explorer want your autograph? <sighs> because you're my biggest fan. No, I'm going to rescue you. Hmm. No, I'm going to rescue him. But I don't want to be rescued. Yes, you do. No! Isn't this Imagination Day? Didn't we come here to put on a play? Well, for your information, I haven't had one chance to be Pirate Princess yet because you three have been arguing so much. So, to put on a play, we're going to have to figure out a way for all of our imaginary characters to do it together. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Me, too. <sighs> oh, I have an idea how we can do this. Treasure! Thanks for helping me get through the jungle, Space Explorer, Emma. I couldn't have done it without ye. <gasps> oh, no! Yikes. Space ah. trolls! They found us! Oh, no. <gasps> we must protect the statue. A vast rock star orbit. Yes! Later, dudes. Everyone, hot tail it for the hills. Space Sheriff sure. Rob will keep him busy while you folks escape. Eat pillows, Space Trolls. I'll help you defeat the trolls, Space Sheriff sure. Rob. Thanks, Jungle Explorer Emma. Count me in, baby. Play, where we all played our favorite character. And we did it all together. Yeah! So I'd say it's... Missing a Mr. 
losing control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? On a play for Imagination Day. We all pretended to be different things. Orbit was a rock star, Emma was a jungle explorer, TK was a pirate princess, and I was a space sheriff. But we were so excited playing our own characters, we had problems listening to each other and playing together. But TK reminded us that although it was fun to be whatever we wanted to be, always think about our friends too. We learn that it's much more fun if we find ways to share our games and play together. Well done. I think it's time to go home and help buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. A message inside. What does it say? It says X marks the spot where the treasure is buried. And look, it has a pirate ship drawn on it. Oh, oh, oh! It's a map! It's a map! Ooh, it's not just a map. It's a pirate's treasure map! Signed by No Spunk the Pirate. <gasps> pirate oh, treasure! treasure? I've never gone on a treasure hunt before. <laughs> that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? It's time for us to pick a planet. Nothing more exciting than hunting for pirate treasure. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Ooh, lunchtime planet. Yum. A healthy lunch is important, but I don't think we'll find pirate treasure there, TK. Now that looks like a place where we can find pirate treasure. Yes, the Buccaneer Planet. Buccaneer is another name for pirate. Get ready for the countdown. for? Oh, I know. Those are the four main directions on a map. N for north, E for east, S for south, and W for west. North should always be on the top. The first direction says to go north to Nosebump's ship. But which way is north? 
Sure, let's try it. All right. <laughs> Doesn't look like treasure. Find me! After all these years, you've helped me find my precious treasure. I buried it for safekeeping, but lost me map. <laughs> <laughs> the treasure. We also made a fun new friend. I'd say that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Map. So we went to Buccaneer Planet in search of buried treasure. Buccaneer is another word for pirate. Orbit taught us that a map can help you find things. But something making a scary noise found us instead, so we made a run for it. We learned that to read a map properly, you need to know what direction you're going. TK had a compass that showed where north, south, east, and west are. That way, we could follow the clues on the map. In the end, the scary noise was just a friendly robot pirate. He made strange noises because he couldn't find his jaw. That's what the treasure was. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Bye. our very best. Now, where do I put the camera? Hmm. <laughs> oh, thanks, Squeak. You found it. I don't know, TK. These ones just don't seem to fit right. Hmm. Maybe try retracting your antenna a little, like this. Hi, 
everyone. How can I help you today? We want to dress Emma up like a robot, so we need to find a place with robot parts. Oh, dress-up time is always fun. Let's see if I can help you. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Oh, Jigsaw Planet! Solving Jigsaw puzzles is a lot of fun, but it's not the right place for finding robot parts, Orbit. Oh, I love playing sports. Sports Planet sounds awesome, but I don't think we'll have much luck with our mission there, TK. Ooh, what about this planet? It looks like it has a ton of spare robot parts. You chose Spare Part Planet, the perfect place to create a robot costume. Hurry, everyone! Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts! For Emma. Exactly. But if she can't talk, and if she can't walk, Emma might realize she's awesome just the way she is. That's our real mission. Isn't being a robot great, Emma? Oh, uh, it sure is. <laughs> okay, what's next? We need to find some more parts, bulky parts. Wait, being a robot sure is <laughs> fun. I found the perfect middle piece. I found robot hands. Great job, guys. Let's suit her up. Ta so, Emma, what do you think of being a robot now? It's. Uh, you wait here. We'll, um, we'll, we'll see if we can get you a nice pair of shoes or something. Oh, boy, I thought for sure she would have given up by now. Hey, what's that? Machinery orbit. It can be very <laughs> dangerous. <laughs> oh no! My nose is itchy. T. 
TK, we need something to help us get Emma's attention. Nope, not loud enough. Nuh-uh, still not loud enough. What about this? A megaphone! Perfect! On the count of four, everyone. One, two, three... Emma! Help! Oh, no! That's it! I've had enough of this! Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> <laughs> Emma was unhappy that she didn't look like the rest of us, so we traveled to Spare Part Planet to make her a robot costume. But our real mission was to show Emma she's perfect, just the way she is. She wanted to fit in so badly, she didn't realize how clumsy all that heavy stuff was making her. We looked around for other ideas and ended up getting stuck on a giant magnet. Magnets attract certain types of metal, like iron, and we're loaded with iron. We needed our non-robot friend to help us. Emma saved us by just being herself. She was able to do some amazing things that we could never do. We're all a bit different, and that's what makes each one of us special. Well done, everyone. I'd say that means it's time to head home. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Goodbye, Spare Part Planet. in the water. I like him! Uh, 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 Stripey's sad. He does look sad. What's wrong, little guy? Uh, he's normally more playful. Well, let's take him out to play with us. No, he can't come out of the bowl. Fish need to stay in water. Don't worry, Emma. We'll find a way to cheer him up. Mm -hmm. Aw, thanks, everyone. You really are my best friends. Yeah, that's it. Stripey needs a friend. <gasps> Did you hear that, Stripey? Would you like someone to play with? That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for... 
for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We have to find a fishy friend for Stripey. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. Oh, yummy! The veggie planet. Would we find Stripey a friend on the veggie planet? No. Would we find fish on the bouncy ball planet? Nope. Not the bouncy ball planet. Would we find fish on the ocean planet? Yes, the ocean planet. Excellent choice for finding a fishy friend for Stripey. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. for Stripey. I think a whale is a bit too big to fit in Stripey's bowl. We need to find someone more his size. Come on, everyone. Let's go find a fishy friend for Stripey. Whoa! Fishy fish at all. Just need some. 
something that can cut this seaweed. Oh, I know I've got the right tool for the job here somewhere. Hey, our new crappy friend is helping Orbit out. Huh? Same color as stripey. In fact, it even kind of looks like his stripes. Yes, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, Emma's fish Stripey wasn't happy, so our mission was to find him some fishy friends. We needed to find a place where fish live. And the ocean planet was the right place. It had a lot of different strange creatures living there. Some were huge. Others were very strange and a little scary. We learned that a telescope can make it easier to see things that are far away. We also learned how much fun it is to make new friends, even if they look a little bit different. Our crabby friends sure were helpful. Then we found a plant that had a pattern just like stripes. And in that plant, there were a lot of other fish, and they looked exactly like stripes. And Emma decided Stripey would be happiest if he stayed with all his new fishy friends. Well done, Rob. Mission accomplished. I think it's time to go home. Five, four, three, two, one. 